Okay, hello and good morning everyone. Welcome to GFD Brokers Traders Espresso with me, that is Don Charles, because today is the 5th of March 2019. So welcome everyone, welcome to this um, Tuesday's morning session where we're going to have a look at the market, a few markets, a few charts, um, the usual stuff. But before we do that, as always, let's quickly have a read through our risk disclaimer. So... <clears throat> The content we produce does not constitute investment advice or investment recommendation, should not be considered as such, and does not in any way constitute an invitation to acquire any financial instrument or product. There's always a few seconds for you to read the rest, and we can continue. Okay, now then guys, um, let's quickly jump into the charts. Now the first one I want to touch on here is the DAX. Now the German index here yesterday tried to push higher, um, but failed to get above this level right here at around 11,680 zone. So I was talking about this level previously in one of my videos uh, where I was covering uh, DAX and basically this marks the highs of uh, near the 8th, 2nd of November and also the uh, 22nd of October so this is quite an important one uh, for this index and you can see that uh, it managed to hit hit that level but quickly retraced back down so uh, basically for now what we're going to do here is of course you can see that on the downside here I do have this level right here the 11,570 mark here on my chart um, so basically a nice big drop below that could potentially lead towards further declines now of course it will be very careful here because overall you can still see that uh, the index in within this somewhat of a rising channel formation so even though it failed to kind of drive higher uh, but of course that that is for now um, what we're gonna do here is of course we're gonna just continue monitoring some key and support key support and resistance levels so basically on the downside is the 11,570 level that we're keeping a close eye on a drop below that a drop below that could potentially send this one further down and on the downside here what we're looking for is of course initially we'll target this little low here that we saw uh, on the last trading day of February or in general the last trading uh, the last day of February and that was around the 11,415 zone so this little area of support could be the next one to watch uh, just slightly below that we do have the 11,375 uh, which marks here the high of the 5th of February so that's why guys for now be let's play it short and simple basically on on the downside keep your eyes on the 11,570 level but if this decides to uh, reverse and push pushes higher and breaks above this recent high um, or should I say the yesterday's high at around 11,680 now this is where it could become a, a little bit more exciting for the uh, for the more for more bulls and we could see this one maybe the index traveling further up here towards the 11,850 zone marked by the high of the 17th of October so also this is where it could potentially uh, hit the upper bound of the rising channel formation uh, but then again, let's say this is just a bit of a more of a tentative idea. Uh, this is still up in the air. The one that we're, we're just going to stick towards the uh, resistance level, the potential resistance level here. So uh, that's why, guys, for now, we're, what we're keeping close eye on is, of course, on the downside is the 11,680. And on the uh, on the upside, sorry, this 11,680. On the downside is the 11,570. So keep your eyes on that one. Um, Jumping into gold and uh, another um, very interesting uh, instrument here. So basically, yesterday we um, I was covering this one in one of my, uh, in my yesterday's espresso, and basically I was telling you guys to keep a close eye on this key area of support here near the 1287.86, approximately there. You can see that the commodity managed to travel lower and uh, managed to test this area. Um, now, of course. For now, we're gonna uh, we could see a bit of a retracement here to the upside, 
we could see maybe a hit of this 12 1297 level approximately there now this is where it could become a little bit more interesting because this is the area um, where the um, the commodity could reach its uh, 21 EMA so basically for now guys be very cautious certainly we are quite extended here to the downside on the four hour chart we could see a bit of correction but uh, still still to be honest uh, the momentum is more to the downside and the next level that we're going to be keeping a close eye on on the downside and probably this should I say I should say is a few of the levels so the 1279 and the 1276 this is the little area here that we're going to keep a close eye on so basically uh, the last time you can see that how well this area played as a support uh, between the uh, between the lows of the 4th of January and the uh, lows of the 24th of January so almost for the, for the whole month this this area here between the 1279 and 1276 kind of continued to hold so that's why guys for now uh, for now of course we're still looking more south um, but again let's see if it actually does a bit of correction first and if it does travel higher the level uh, the level that we're going to be keeping a close eye on is of course the 1290 or even the, uh, the psychological 1300 level so but anyway what you could do for today is of course look at this pivot today's pivot which is around the 1289 zone so a nice good push above the 1289 could potentially open the path back up here towards the, this area that I was talking about around the 1297 or the 1300 um, and then if it fails to drive above it uh, this is where the good opportunity for the bull for the bears could have come up and we could see more of them jumping in here and potentially taking advantage of the slightly higher price so for now uh, be very cautious um, like I said don't forget that it might not travel higher it could straight away drop lower and and uh, again, this is the this is the area that we're going to be keeping a close eye on. So for now, for now, be very cautious with this one, and let's see how this plays out. Uh, jumping into Aussie yen now, looking at this very interesting uh, formation happening here right now, and uh, basically Aussie yen, even though it continues to travel higher, it, it continues to trade above this little short-term upside support line taken from the lows of the 8th of February. You can still notice that it's kind of failing to make some higher highs and uh, that's why for now we're gonna just gonna be very cautious on this one because um, to be honest we'll wait for a confirmation break first before we uh, before we assume any or should I say uh, yeah, but take any uh, uh, examine any directional further directional move um, so that's why this is what it, what's gonna be how it's gonna look for now so ba basically if we see a drop below this upside support line and also a close uh, a daily close below let me just quickly mark this level here um, a close below the 79 area approximately there now this is where it could turn out to be quite ugly for um, for this pair we could see further declines uh, certainly another the next potential very good area of, of support could be seen near the 78.30 which is which marks the lows near the 21st of February and uh, but we'll we'll just take it from there see if it wants to travel that way but again like I said in terms of the downside this is where we're going to be looking at uh, currently you can see that the pair is trading slightly below the pivot which is slightly a bearish indication for now so uh, but again for a better confirmation of the downside we would like to see this uh, break below the subside support line and a drop below the 79 level and only then we will aim for lower levels um, on the upside so the Aussie yen here on the upside well I if as you probably understood you we need to see a nice good push above this it, to be honest this is a bit of a tentative downside resistance line because it, you can in a way take it from here or, or draw it this way so that's why we're not gonna focus too much and this is just for illustrative uh, purposes so we're not gonna focus too much on it but what we're gonna look at here is of course and initially we would for in order to consider higher levels we would like to see a nice good push above the 79.5 55 level above these highs that we saw here on the um, the 3rd of March 
um, sorry, on the 4th of March. Uh, and uh, this way we could aim for slightly higher areas, like for example, the uh, the high of the, Feb the 5th of February, or in other words, the highest point of February. And that was approximately around the 79.85 level. Now, for those who are looking for something for something more uh, long-term, this is what you could do. You could in a way wait until this travels towards the 79.85 uh, level and only then aim for higher levels uh, because a break above this could c confirm a forthcoming higher high um, and of course like I said then we will aim for these uh, for the psychological 80 level and above but for those who are uh, looking for something short term uh, keep your eyes on the initially today keep your eyes on the pivot a nice good push above this could send the, the pair a little bit higher uh, but for better confirmation of, of uh, the upside from the short term perspective a nice good push above the 79.55 level could be that little uh, trigger point uh, for higher levels. So keep your eyes on these guys. Uh, jumping into NZD USD now, this is a very tricky one, and you can see already probably without me explaining what's happening here. Um, I was covering this one in one of my videos uh, yesterday, and uh, basically I was telling you guys um, to keep a close eye on on the upside, this short term upside support line taken from the. Um, taken from the low of the 2nd of January. Now, don't get me wrong, overall, we're still trading above this, um, this kind of medium term upside support line taken from the lows of October last year. But uh, for now, you can see that this is what's happening. We're it current, it's currently testing the uh, this upside support line, the short, sh the shorter one. Um, the big question, of course, here, here is, is this going to break or is this just going to hold again and we'll see a reversal and a push higher. So that's why for now, we're just going to remain neutral and continue observing it in order to consider higher levels we would like to see a nice good push above the 0 0.6830 level and only then we'll target higher levels and probably aiming we'll aim for these uh, these the highs of last week at around the 0 0.69 zone but again I'll repeat myself the 0 0.6830 that's what we're watching on the upside on the downside even though if you see this one traveling below the upside support line um, for a better confirmation we would like to see an, a nice good drop below the 0 0.6775 zone and then we will aim for lower areas and then we will aim for this uh for this kind of medium term upside support line that i was talking about so for now uh be very cautious be very careful with this one it 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 does uh it could show a good opportunity to take advantage of this pair but uh, we need to see a good confirmation break first either through this level here or this level on the upside around the 0 0.6830. Um, jumping into the last pair I wanted to quickly touch on for this session and that's GBPUSD. Now um, looking at this one here, looking at this four hour chart, you can see this is what's happening. And I was uh, I was covering this one uh, in one of my previous videos as well. And I was telling you guys to keep a close eye on this upside support line. Uh, you can see that now it got broken. And of course the path now could be holding to the downside. Now, the only thing is that we do have a good obstacle here around 130, uh, 1.3090 level. You can see that how well that played as a nice area of resistance here between the uh, the 20th of February until the kind of 25th of February. Um, so basically for now, uh, we're gonna continue targeting this level here, the 130.90. But if this, if this gets a nice rejection here we might see something like this happening uh, where the pair could rebound and push higher again for now of course we're not going to over speculate on this one too much of course for now we're we're still targeting this area the 131 130 90 something like that approximately there um, but again like I said if this decides to not to travel uh, lower because you can see that currently it's sitting at its at its near next uh, it's sitting at its good area of support around the 131.60 level. And just to kind of mention you that this was the high of the 31st of January. So uh, it was previously acting as a good area of resistance. Now it's taking the role of support. So the 131.60 is also something for you to watch today, because if this decides to travel further below it, then yep, like I said, this is what we're, we're going to target. We're going to target the 130.90 uh, initially, of course, the 131, but then slightly below that, 
the 13090 and then we'll see we'll just take it from there and see what is what's happening but if this decides to suddenly drive back above this upside support line this tentative upside support line of course um well still for us to get more comfortable with it with higher levels we would like to see a nice good push above the 132.85 level and only then we will aim for this recent high this february high near the 133.50 and if that gets broken this could confirm a forthcoming higher high and we could see further acceleration to the upside but for now for now this is where the pair is it's looking more bearish than bullish it's currently trading below the pivot um so let's see how this day evolves and and uh, let's see where this bear is going to go. But like I said, we are more bearish than bullish on this one for now. Okay, um, I hope you found it useful. Thank you very much for watching and listening. And if you want to join me later on in my trader's tea time, and that's 14.15 GMT time. But for now, I hope you have a wonderful trading day, guys. And I'll see you later. Bye-bye.